Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair Guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a Hyundai Sonata. Could be any year, any generation. You have check engine light on and code P0172. Stay with us, we'll explain how to fix that. Almost every possible thing that can cause it. And one common thing that most people never think about that, guys. Okay, and if you don't fix it, you can actually destroy your engine. You can say bye bye to it and you will be on the market for a new engine or get, or get the engine rebuilt. Before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us every single car we get at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos why we do that simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need in return please subscribe to the channel and like the video now if you need to buy any parts tools for a good price and quick shipping check out the link in the description of the video below that's where we get all our tools and supplies from with that being said let's explain okay what we have here specifically this is a gdi engine out of a hyundai sonata 2.4 gdi but even if you have a different engine the procedure is about the same code p0172 it indicates that your car is running rich guys running rich fuel mixture means that the car is getting either more fuel and the same amount of air or the same amount of fuel and less air which will indicate that in the mixture you have more fuel than uh, it needs for that amount of air so when you come to the back side usually on your Hyundai Sonata engine you will notice that you have the exhaust system and on the exhaust system you have one oxygen sensor that detects the amount of uh, actually it's known as upstream oxygen sensor or bank one sensor one one the sound sensor it indicates how much fuel and air you still have in the exhaust system it will calculate that send the information to the engine computer it will determine if you have lean or rich fuel mixture and then it will do adjustments to fuel air variable timing ignition all that stuff so it can uh, balance the mixture you have perfectly fine mixture which will result into clean burning engine not polluting and powerful engine as well so that would be the best scenario guys but if you have any of these codes often it could be even okay called p0172 it could be bad oxygen sensor guys that does that we have a special video that explains how to replace it and how to test oxygen sensor also on hyundai sonata so check it out it will be on our channel now another thing that can cause that guys the uh run rich fuel mixture could be triggered by something else as well in some cases it could be something super simple such as dirty air filter if the air filter on your car is dirty at higher rpms when you need more power more air it will not allow enough air and as a result that can end up throwing code p0172 now it could be something else okay as well that can destroy your engine but before we continue i remember guys many of you ask me in the comment section below to share information about the scanner that we use that's the one that we recommend works on hyundai and almost any car you can think of it's a tool that can pay itself off in one time use we'll put the link in the description of the video below if you want to check the current price and features but let's continue with something else what else can cause that code let's say the engine is getting more fuel than it should what can cause that it could be something such as leaking fuel injector if your leak if your fuel injector is leaking guys uh, it can be spraying more fuel than it needs or when it's closed it will be dripping fuel in the cylinder which can result into rich fuel mixture that's extremely dangerous due to the fact that you can damage the catalytic converters uh, you can damage oxygen sensors if you get uh, extra fuel that can result into uh, going around the piston rings when you turn the car off uh, practically uh, going to the oil pan it will dilute your oil the oil will not lubricate the engine good and you may say bye bye to your engine guys crankshaft bearings cylinder head it can destroy your engine so make sure you don't have a leaking fuel injector we have a special video that explains about the symptoms of leaking fuel injector now something else that can cause that as well fuel rail pressure sensor that's your fuel rail it will be on top of the fuel injectors the purpose of the pressure sensor is to uh, make sure it measures the pressure here it will send the information to the engine computer which will control the high pressure fuel pump and it will try to keep exactly the same pressure in the fuel rail so your engine can be spraying uh, um, uh, spraying as much fuel as it needs to but if that sensor is not reading correctly okay or the high pressure fuel pump and the fuel volume sensor here are not working correctly that can result into getting more fuel in the engine and that can result into that code as well but two things three things i'll start first uh, replace air filter the oxygen sensor and then go to fuel injectors most likely so 
uh, then fuel pump it's sometimes hard to know exactly what it is just test it see if you can figure it out if not you have to replace a few things until you get it right hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you guys next time